Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. And before we get this video started, I do want you guys to know I do still have like some really bad allergies going on, so I do apologize for that. But today we're going to be playing Phantom of the Kill. Now, I've seen this game inside of Google Play like so many times. Like when it first released, I saw it in Google Play, but it just didn't seem like something that was like interesting to me. But I'm starting to keep an open mind and started to try it out the games at least. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, if I do know from the screenshots they showed on the whole Google Play app, it is kind of like the Alchemist Code in a way, but this was out before the Alchemist Code. All right, so let's see. Pick my character all the way over here oh this definitely does give like a <laughs> this definitely gives like uh final fantasy tactics kind of feel i'm going to wait right here here come here and attack okay or not oh i didn't even get to see what that said i'm pretty sure i know what to do so he will counter, apparently. So let's go ahead and attack. Oh, that's pretty cool, I guess. They go in like their own miniature world and start fighting. That's very... Well, I can't say it's like that then. It's kind of like a... Um, fire Emblem. So I take that back. Oh yeah, and I can speed it up. Okay, cool. Not a big fan of like the character models though, but that's pretty much a lot of games that don't really do their character models like extremely well. As long as the game has like characters, I guess. All right, let's skip that. Now the game does travel back and forth between like sideways, forward. It's like really annoying to deal with, but hey. So you guys are gonna be seeing me like zoom in, zoom back out, zoom back in. It's like this whole freaking annoying process. So I'm pretty sure this is a set summon. Oh, cool. Got a five star. Well, I don't know if she's a set summon, but got a character. She looks pretty decent. So like always, I know nothing about these games as I go in. I just have to figure them out as I play. So let's do this. Oh, I guess it's still loading in or something. All right, my bad. All right, so let's see. There's events going on. So new characters are coming in, apparently. I think that's what this is. All right, so there are six stars. So, I'm guessing there is a max of six stars as a cap. Am I going to say for sure? Maybe someone will let me know. Pretty sure six star is the cap. Alright, what do we have for missions? Okay, so we got beginner missions here where we're supposed to do all nine quests. Not sure if we can do it all in this video, but we're going to try. Unless we get the bases down, then we're just going to start skipping everything. Uh, what should do we want? I want her. She looks more badass, personally. Well, by her art. But it's actually pretty cool. You can pick which one you want to get for your com mission complete. Alright, let's go into units. Make sure we have our characters in. Seems like they're not going to hold our hands anymore. That's at least what it feels like. We have a 5 star unit to tire us over into them. So... What is in Mel? Got a key. Got Zinni. That's just spelled differently from the Alchemist Code. Okay. 
So I can't summon anything right now. I did get the six um, little gems for completing like the whole tap when downloading thing. That one piece, uh, which what was it? That thing that goes on with the whole One Piece game that I played like a few days ago. Well, a month ago, maybe. So they do have step ups. And they do have a free summon. Let's go ahead and do that and see what we get. Hopefully, better than the units we have right now. Ooh, this one's all shiny. Oh no. It turned into a four star, okay. Okay, so I got a mage and I think a lancer is what she is. I'm not gonna say for sure. But let's go ahead and make our formation. Now, what it keeps us Okay, I'm about to say, we probably have a cap to keep us in place. So let's go ahead and choose her as our mage. Let's put her in. Are we capped out? Okay, we're not. Okay, good. So there is gears. There's a shop, too. Let's look at the shop and see what's in there. There's a Zeddy shop, metal shop, rare metal shop, well, rare metal slot. So there's like a slot machine. Uh, the prices don't look extremely high. I mean, the summoning prices aren't really high either, so. Can't really say much. Uh, all right, let's go back to recruitment, see if there's anything else that's free in there. Cause you know, some of these games do try to do the whole free summoning things as often as they can. I could get one from here as a step up. Not sure if I would get it on the first try though. But there's also another step up right here. Hmm. Should I even try one of these right now? I think we should just wait off into our first step up here. The whole tin one we had seen. This seems like a better chance of actually getting it since it is rookie. So let's go and start doing our missions now. Just so we can get a little bit more. Do we have anything in our special missions? I think we just completed something. Oh. Actually. There are two of these. I don't know which one I want. Personally, I feel like I want the Christmas one. Is there anything different? No, it just looks like their images are different. There's a successful... There's a special event going on there. Just got some zinni. That I have to do here. Okay. Like I said, we're getting into it. We ought to do all of our daily missions get those out of the way all right what about the other missions I think we recruited as well nope we just edited party doing like some straightforward stuff I'm guessing this is news yep all right now we're gonna get into the story sorry guys Let's get us into some more gameplay you know you always got to get that stuff out of the way because you don't want to do something you needed then not have to go all the way back just to do it again. I'm gonna choose her. She looks pretty cool. She reminds me of that main character from Kill a Kill. Okay, yeah, this is gonna get annoying real quick. Oh no, the emulator is gonna get really annoying. On phone, it's probably gonna be simple because you can just flip it around and everything. It's probably that simple. Did I just pick anybody to move? Okay, no, it's just pretty much a set one. Where's my range? About to be directly in front of them. Alright. Plus, there are effective. 
versus certain like foot soldier. Okay. All right, so it's up here. That's what it is. So they have the whole um, element inside of like fire emblem. I'm sorry. It's like I'm really trying to process everything here. It's like really weird. Try to at least get an understanding right now. So I do apologize if I kind of like freeze up a little bit. But what I was saying is there's like an effective against like different soldiers and everything. Like mages are strong against warriors or archers are strong against warriors and warriors are strong against archers and flying flying units are weak against like anything that shoots projectiles things like that so it pretty much is like a um, fire and boom does it indicate when you uh, switch it's just pretty much like weighted character then move on to the next. Alright, so I can shoot diagonal from here with this character. I could probably do the same thing with the archer. This was more like, I'm not gonna hold your hand. You gotta learn the game. Straight off the little bit of a basics they gave us. Alright, so... You can select what unit you want to move. Without, like, going down, like, a line of... I gotta move this character first, I gotta move this character first. It just pretty much select whoever you want to move first. Alright, not that bad. Pretty much, like I said, we're pretty much learning as we go. Like always, whoever does the, like the most damage and tax more probably gets like more XP. Especially if it's... Oh, I unlocked your sword quest. Let's go with her, just to see what she looks like. This is kind of a mixture of, like, a lot of games i played, like... Brave Frontier, Fire Emblem... With a little bit of... Events Tactics. There's just a lot to take in on like the first start of it. I definitely like her art style. Kind of like her model a little bit too. I'm actually happy this game actually goes off this like characters like outfits. Which a lot of games don't do now. Especially the Alchemist Code. Sadly they didn't want to go with that. Wait, so what if I... Oh, so I just cure them, okay. That's what our little mage friend does. Or priest. Okay, yeah, she's a priest. Whoops. Alright, let's move... Right here. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna grab it. Oh, more XP? Alright, that's interesting. Oh, Jesus. Let's just wait that off. Alright, so he attacks the archer. The archer can, like, counterattack. But we should be able to counterattack. That poor soul. I kind of didn't want to attack with her just because she's already a few levels ahead. I kind of want to attack with my 5 stars so I can level her up a little bit more. <laughs> I 
Alright, if you guys see me skip the video skipping around, I'm trying to edit out as much sickness as, as I can. As much as I can right now. Alright, so I'm level 2. Yeah, it's just depending on how much a character like does in a match. It's pretty much determining how much XP they're going to get. Alright, cool. I think this is probably the worst video I've done when I'm sick. <laughs> well, not sick, allergies are going on. So let's keep going. I'm going to stop talking about other games and just, just start commentating on the game I'm playing right now. Alright, so let's attack you. Get you out of the way. Oh, he lived. That's the first time we haven't one-shot something. Let's look at the map. There's a dude all the way back there. Let's go for... Her finishing him off. Oh, she missed. Well, she missed. Uh, let's do this though. Let's heal. Let's go for a back attack here. And yeah, this guy will be forced to. Uh, Attack Masabune. Now, as for these two, not sure how far they can, like, go. I'm trying to find a single, like, range here. So she may be spear, but she can only attack, like, straight up in the face. Let's take you and okay. You can't type attack from like right there at that angle. Oh, I like the sword she has. But she's not carrying that sword. It's unfortunate. All right, so she used the skill. I'm wondering how skills work in this game. I guess they'll tell us the further we go in. I wouldn't do that, buddy. You're gonna get countered and die. Oh. Oh, the double attack. Yep, definitely some fire emblem vibes here. I know I said I was gonna talk, stop talking about other games, but you know. Kinda just gives you that feeling. So unfortunately, he is on top of the XP we wanted. So we can't get it. But you're out of here. So we won't be getting that. Alright. Got a little bit of XP. So unlike Fire Emblem, I I know, I know, stop, stop it. <laughs> unlike Fire Emblem, this game, when you attack an enemy, you don't get XP. It's pretty much when you kill an enemy, you get XP for that certain character. Or that certain character gets more XP. Now let's go with this guy. Seems like everybody else got a random summon. It's actually pretty cool that they tell their story through, like, the animations and everything. But I'm going to let you guys watch those. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Uh, where are we going to go here? Hold up. Oh, that guy has a dragon. Okay, cool. I wonder how good the auto system is. Let's see how that goes. A little bit slow, jeez. Alright, 
ちゃんとできたよかった Even with Titan Speed, the whole like battle kinda still feels slow. Especially if there are people who like the whole times two speed, kind of throws it off a little bit. But there are dragon units, well, flying units, so. That's another thing to add on. Doesn't seem like anybody's gonna go for the XP. But I think this last one is definitely gonna be dead because of the counter tag. Oh, never mind, it's an archer. Okay. Wait, why is she taking damage? I don't think she even fall anything. Fireball. It's her only skill. Alright, so there are other certain skills that they have. You just gotta unlock them. And I don't think you can, like, use them by choice. I think it's by random, maybe? But like always, I'm mostly here just to show you guys the gameplay. Not, like, get too in-depth with it. Let you guys pretty much learn the rest of the game by yourselves. I'm just here to introduce you guys to like the play style, the gameplay and everything. Alright. Hopefully we have enough to where we could do that 10 summon step up. What a 10 like diamond step up. Let's go out. Alright, we did do four of them, so we might as well have them. Alright, let's collect all. So apparently they don't go directly to you. You have to claim every, like, stage you do. Which kind of... Yeah, I don't know about that. Alright, let's do the step up. See what we get. Ten summonings. And this game also downloads, like, the Alchemist code, each new character that comes in. Hopefully we get something strong. Oh my, so shiny. Let's see what we get. Aw, oh, only one of them. Okay, this is something new. So we all got three stars, and that's it. Oh. Nope, one of them changed. Alright, I like her look a little bit. Oh, we got a duplicate. I wonder what you do with dupes. Hopefully this becomes a red. Oh, this one became a yellow. It's an archer. Oh, she looks cool. Another duplicate. What is this though? I like her look a little bit. And yeah, that's just pretty much our summoning. Which does suck, but we still got a few units that are kinda decent. Alright, so this can only go yeah, these can only go up to five star. I like the one we have. Which is unfortunate. Now the next one are 30, uh, what up? Alright, it's 30 to 50. So that's our summoning. Uh, that's all I'm going to do for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to check out the game yourselves. Learn more about it if you guys do enjoy the, like, gameplay or style of the game. It definitely has a lot more things than I'm showing right now. But like I said, I leave it to you guys so you guys can learn the surprises and everything else. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.